Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's the third example of how to calculate the pH, or in this case, how to calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ion and the hydrogen ion, given the pH to be 4.6. So right away, since we know the pH is 4.6, we know that the pOH is therefore equal to 14 minus the, uh, minus the pH, so in this case, that's 14 minus 4.6, which is equal to 9.4. So the pOH is 9.4, and the pH is 4.6. Then we realize that to calculate the pH, it is equal to the negative of the log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So we can then um, move the negative to the other side. So minus pH is equal to the log of the hydrogen ion, the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Now we take the antilog of both sides. So we write 10 to the minus pH is equal to 10 raised to the log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And we know, of course, that this cancels out. So we have 10 to the minus pH is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Or reversing the equation, the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 10 raised to the minus pH power. So in this case, since the pH is 4.6, we know that this is going to be 10 to the minus 4.6 power. And then typically, we don't leave it in that format. We like to write it as some number times 10 to the sum uh, exponent. So let's do that. So we take um, 10 and we raise it to the 4.6 minus power. So we get 2.51 times 10 to the minus 5. So this is equal to 2.51 times 10 to the minus 5. So that means the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter. Now, what we can do here is to find the concentration of the hydroxide ion. We can say that the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion has to be 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So therefore, the concentration of the hydroxide ion is therefore equal to 1 point, oh, 1 point over 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And since we just found that right here, we can then plug that number in, and we can say that the concentration of the hydroxide ion is therefore equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5. Of course, in my calculator, I still have the old number. It says 2.511886 and so forth. So I plug in the exact number in there times 1 e to the 14. Oop. 1 e to the 14 minus, where's my minus sign? There we go, equals, and so we get this is equal to 3.98 times 10 to the minus 10, and of course that would be moles per liter. Or we could have used the fact that we found the pOH, and we could then say that the concentration of the hydroxide ion is equal to, just like we did over here, it's equal to 10 to the negative pOH, because we use the hydroxide ion concentration, so 10 to the minus pOH. So in this case, that's 10 to the minus 9.4. And if we use that in our calculator, so we put the number 10 in, then we raise to the exponent, 9.4 negative equals, and sure enough, we also get 3.98 times 10 to the minus 10, that would be moles per liter. So you can see that there's several ways in which you can get to the same answer. We can either first find the concentration of the hydrogen ion by taking this equation and solving it for uh, the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And then we just plug in the pH and we get to the result. And then over here we can do the exact same for the pOH or we can simply say that the pOH is 14 minus the pH and use that same equation as before. So, a very straightforward way. And that's how we do that.